Hi class, these are your video notes for 6.6 .6, double angle and half angle formulas. I'm going to show you a brief proof. It's way more simple than the sum and difference formula proofs, uh, just to convince you of like why these work. So we're going to write out the sum formula for sine, which we learned in the last section, and that is going to be sine of alpha plus beta, and again I'm just taking this from what we learned last section, that equals sine of alpha cosine of beta plus sine of beta times cosine of alpha, which you will be given that formula anytime you're tested on this material. All right, now I'm going to take this formula and I'm going to claim that alpha and beta are the same angle. Uh, I had, for whatever reason, when I downloaded these notes, um, my software changed uh, the variables on me. So I just had to cross them out and make them what they are in your notes. So I'm claiming that alpha and beta are the same. So then I'm just going to name them something different. Okay, they're both just two thetas. So I am going to go ahead and fill in where I see my alpha and my beta, and my beta and my alpha, they're going to be thetas. Well, what I see here then is I have this term plus this term, and they're exactly the same. So that means I have two of them. And this, what do you know, is known as your double angle formula for sine. And we're going to do examples using it. All right, now the sum formula for cosine is cosine of alpha plus beta equals cosine alpha, whoops, Uh, cosine beta minus, that's the biggest mistake we make, sine of alpha sine of beta. All right, once again, I'm just going to claim that my alpha and my betas are the same, so I'm just going to name them the same thing, which is going to be theta and theta. I do that because I know I'm looking for the double angle formula. So once again, I'm going to replace my alphas and my betas with thetas. So I have cosine theta times cosine theta minus sine theta times sine theta. Well here I end up getting, well cosine times cosine is cosine squared and sine times sine is sine squared. So what I found here is that my double angle formula for cosine gives me cosine squared minus sine squared. Please be careful, that does not equal 1. It equals 1 if it was a plus there, but it's a minus, so that is what it is. So let me show you what this looks like. Say I had um, my theta is 60 degrees. So cosine of 2 times 60 degrees equals uh, cosine squared of 60 degrees minus sine squared of 60 degrees. Take a peek at our unit circle and we see that cosine of 60 is 1 half and I square it and sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 and I square it. So I get 1 fourth minus root 3 squared is 3, 2 squared is 4, and I end up getting negative 2 fourths, which reduces to negative 1 half. Well, we can check this one, because what is 2 times 60? Well, that is 120. And does cosine of 120 degrees actually give me negative 1 half? It sure does. So, you know, this seems like a silly formula to use. If I know what cosine of 120 degrees is, I'm going to just use it. I'm not going to break it up to be 2 times 60, but that was just to prove to you that it worked. 
So there's three or two more formulas for cosine of two theta, and you use what seems appropriate in the problem. So the first one we just found was, just to reiterate, cosine of two theta is cosine squared minus sine squared. That one we just found. If we want to find the other ones, we're going to use this uh, identity that hopefully it's starting to stick in your mind, especially after the last section, because Wendy used it a lot. This identity is always true. So what I can do, though, is I can solve this identity for cosine squared, and I get 1 minus sine squared. I can also sign solve for the sine squared, and I get 1 minus cosine squared. So I'm going to go over here, use a new color. Um, so I'm going to do some replacing. So cosine 2 theta. I'm going to go ahead and replace cosine squared with what it equals in the identity. So I have 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared. Combine like terms and I get yet another formula for cosine 2 theta. Again, you're going to be given all these formulas. You do not have to memorize them. And you'll use whichever one works best for the problem. So for the other one, now you probably guessed it. I'm going to go ahead and replace sine squared with what it equals due to the identity. So I have cosine squared minus, I'm going to put this in parentheses since I'm taking it all away, and I end up getting a minus 1 plus cosine squared combined like terms, and I get 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So here we have 1, 2, three formulas for cosine two theta, where for sine we only had one, and it just works out because of this identity piece. Now we're going to do the same process for tangent. So I have tangent of alpha plus beta, which you saw just briefly in the video before. You really haven't played with these problems. We will in class. I'm just rewriting the formula, so tangent alpha plus tangent beta all over 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta. Once again, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to have alpha equal to beta, and we're going to rename it theta. <clears throat> so tangent theta plus theta equals tangent theta plus tangent theta all over 1 minus tangent theta tangent theta. Combine like terms and we get 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent squared theta. And that, my friends, is your double angle formula for tangent. In the next videos, we'll do actual examples.